So for today, we're going to be looking at the anointed armor set. This is the Eververse armor set for the hunters. We're going to be looking at the individual pieces. If you guys want to see the armor review, I'll have it up right now. Plus the shader review as well. We go through all the shaders that I currently own. And for the review, we also look at some of the shaders as well. And we also look at how it looks and whatnot and my personal thoughts as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really, really do appreciate it. Other than that, uh, let's just look at this armor. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet for the first set. And this one is really, really cool. I like the helmet a lot. This is a set that I've reused already. I don't remember which video it is, but I'll have it up right now if I can find it. It is basically the Gemini gesture look with the trickster ornament that I made. And I really like this set a lot. So I just kind of reused it for the helmet. For the shaders, we're going to be using Chitin Slate for the helmet because I don't want the hologram on the left side to show up. You can still see a little bit of it, but it's better than nothing. For everything else, it's going to be Regal Daring. And for the arm, Siege Breaker Grips is such a good arm for this just because a lot of it is the off color, which if you guys don't know, the red is the off color kind of. Uh, Limitless Reversion Vest is also really good because you, the undershirt is red and I really, really do like that. For the exotic ring, I'm using the Trickster Ornament for the Gemini Jester because a lot of it is off color and a lot of it does change color, which Gemini Jester's default look does not change colors. It's really, really bad. So that's why you definitely need Trickster, the Trickster Ornament. And then for the cloak, Aspiring Challenger cloak, I really like this one because A, all of the colors that the wires have on the top, the yellow and red, go exactly well with the Regal Daring Shader, but the like, the cloak, not cloak, but the, the neck guard on the cloak goes really well with the actual uh, chest piece. There's a lot of white in there, especially for the undershirt as well. But then you have the black hood that goes really well with this as well. So it really does look like it goes together, which is really cool. So this one's really, really cool. I actually like this one a lot more than the original set, which is really funny. But let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using Blight Ranger with the new ornament, Olmstead's Downfall. I think this ornament looks fucking phenomenal. Uh, we're going to be using two pieces from the anointed set. We're going to be using the arms and the cloak, and I'll explain why we're using the cloak in a bit for the arms. I think it just looks amazing. I wanted to go for like a technic technological look because the helmet obviously has that look, but then the arms also have that look, especially for the right side of the arm, specifically the shoulder. And I think that just looks really cool. And I really wanted to lean into that. Uh, the only thing that's kind of annoying is the asymmetry of this but it's fine because I think steeplechase strides kind of evens it out because again, the left side only has the armor set on the le left leg and nothing on the right leg. So it kind of really does even it out a little bit. To be fair, I would have liked it if it had a little bit more glow. So that way it would have evened out a lot more. It does have glows a little bit on the actual thighs, but it's not enough for me. For the chest piece, Whisper of the Victor Vest was an easy choice, especially if you pair it with the Cloak of the Anointed because the cloak of the anointed has like these necklaces and whatnot and it really just blocks out the guardian games logo which is why i'm using the cloak uh for the shader venomous i think is just a great choice because of the green glow everything's super dark but the green green glow is super dope so i actually really like this set a lot i would probably switch out cloak of the anointed for something a little bit more technological um maybe maybe the cabal one for the hunters just because that has a lot of glow in that and then maybe switch out the chest piece or not the chest piece i probably switch out the boots for something that has like a glow on the left side or maybe just on the right side <sighs> maybe or maybe something that's symmetrical but the annoying part is hunters don't have a lot of glowy boots that are that would go well with this so i actually still really do like this one and i will most likely use this if blight ranger ever got a buff which i hope to god it does one day as for the next set, we're going to be using Sir, Sir Terachnik's Facade. This one is a really cool exotic, but the reason I'm using this exotic is because I'm going for a scavenger feel, and this is obviously Fallen themed. So I, in my head, I was like, well, I'm going to use a Fallen themed helmet because everything else is not going to be like intricate or everything else is not going to be symmetrical and it's going to look all like, like a scavenger would look. Because to me, the anointed obviously being alloy themed from the, from her games, I wanted to make it a little bit more thematic. So for this one, psionic stalker grips was an easy choice because both sides are not symmetrical and there's a lot of intricacies going on. Like specifically the left side, you see 
that like really cool arm guard but then you see that really cool like um shoulder pad with like that one piece of uh, metal but then on the other side you have a lot of uh intricacy specifically like inside of the shoulder and the arm you'll see scales and it's really really cool unfortunately i'm using seraphim cloak which doesn't do a good job of highlighting that so i would probably switch out the shader to have the scales show up a little bit more for the chest piece vest of the anointed i just felt like i needed to use something that had a little bit more scavenger feel because for me the chest piece has that feel quite a bit and then for the boots virulent strides was such an easy choice because the psionic stalker grips has met has a armor on the left side so i was like i'm gonna use something that has armor on the right side to even it out a little bit and i actually love how it came out because these boots scream uh, scavenger to me there's a lot of pieces in, in this and it just looked really really cool for the cloak canis luna cloak i always think is just a, a great choice if you're going for a scavenger look because of the fur and yeah i think my my biggest gripe about this is probably using seraphim cloak to be fair though the reason i used it is because the virulent strides the vice logo does not change color so i was like i want to go for like a green some green so that way the vice logo doesn't like clash with everything else so i do do think it looks really cool granted without seraphim cloak i would probably switch out a shader that shows the scales of the right arm a little bit more but other than that let me know what you guys think and then last but not least i have a mock-up of what i'm going to be using for the boots which is this right here i'm gonna be real with you guys i like the set like don't get me wrong i think it looks super cool and i like where my head is going but i don't like the overall look of it so i think my biggest gripe about this set is superior visions cal i don't think this is good for this set and light king cloak as much as i love light king cloak i also don't think it looks good with this set but i do like where my head is going here because candice luna grips with the val hunt ornament for the sticks coyote and the strikes of the anointed i think look really well together i just think i could switch out some things here and there the reason i'm using the strides of the anointed for this is because i felt like i could really utilize this for a viking look but i think the boots are just a little too skinny and not, i'm not saying that like oh vikings were big and buff i'm not saying that i think the armor itself like the val hunt ornament with the canis lunas look a little too heavy for the strides of the anointed that's what i really mean and it's really unfortunate because I really like where my head is going with this. I, I I don't know. I probably will have to do something else for this set, but I wanted to show you guys this because I, I think it's also important to show you like whips, which is a work in progress type things. And also just kind of like to show you where my head is going. Like this is usually where I would be like in the experimental stage where I'm like, all right, I, I like where this is going and then go on to like the final draft, you would say. But yeah i would just switch out the helmet and the cloak for something else i'm gonna i want to keep i want to keep trying to see if i can find something for strides because i do like the boots up quite a bit i think they're probably the best piece from the all of the set uh just because they look really cool so i like it for the shaders arrow was glance for the helmet just because i wanted black in there stalwart tenant because the fur is actually really good color and that goes for everything aside from Candice Luna because Candice Luna's fur doesn't change color, unfortunately. And then Abyssinian Gold for Lycan because it gives the best black. So let me know what you guys think. Which one is your favorite? I'm gonna, probably going to say the first one is my favorite just because it looks really, really good. But I do think the second one also looks really good, especially if I like tweak it a little bit here and there because I do think the boots were not that great. And I think the cloak could be better. And then the third one, as much as I really, really do like it, I don't like my shader choice. And that's actually it. I think the shader choice is pretty bad, but I also think I will want to switch out the helmet because I actually don't like the facade as an exotic. I think it's very niche and I don't really care for it. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.